on. <laughs> I'm a senior at Akalani's. Uh, if I could tell freshman year Nicole something, it would just be to listen to my body, you know, knows its limits. No need to push myself super hard every single day. Recovery days are just as important as hard workouts. And no reason to peak when you're only like 14, 15 years old in high school. Uh, <laughs> if I had to tell something to myself in 10 years, uh, hopefully you're in like a running group because you'll be out of college by then, maybe run a marathon, I don't know. Uh, hope you find something you're really passionate about because right now I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Oh, and call Lauren Yee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and call Lena. Ah, oh, yeah. And Megan. Yeah. And Megan. Yeah. No, don't call Megan. Ah. Oh, Miss, I can't believe this. Call me. Katrina. Please. Call Please. Katrina because I love my whole team. Oh. And Josh! <laughs> Josh, look! Josh, look! Josh, look! Josh! Josh. The Alistair! <laughs> We're here with Coach Ed from Akalani's High School. Thank you so much for hosting us again. You're welcome. Um, is there any message you'd like to have special for the class of 2021? Yeah, I'd like to say uh, I really appreciate your resilience. I mean, you guys have hung in there so greatly, especially the runners at our school. You guys have shown such amazing perseverance. You stuck with it. You came out day after day in practice, even when we weren't sure we were going to have a season. And you kept practicing. You got me out of bed every morning to come to, to run with you. So congratulations. Even though you didn't have a normal school year, you proved something to the entire world, which is you, you will persevere. Very proud of you. Perfect message. Thank you so much, sir. Take care. You're welcome. If you could go back in time and talk to a freshman, Anushka, what would you say to her? Um, oh, oh, freshman Anushka? Yeah. Uh, I should have joined cross country freshman year. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And then if you could talk to future Anushka, like 10 years from now, what would you say to her? Um, <laughs> are you rich yet? <laughs> hey, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. Take care. Thank you. If you could talk to freshman Brett, what would you say to him? Strategy is more important than speed. <laughs> okay. And then if you could talk to future Brett, like 10 years from now, what would you say to him? I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Well, thank you so much. Take care. You're welcome. In time and talk to a freshman Michelle. What would you say to her? Oh, my goodness. I would say eat uh, better food. <laughs> eat food that nourishes your body more. <laughs> Um, and don't be so hard on yourself okay. um, during yeah. those races, yeah. Great. And then if you could talk to future Michelle, like 10 years from now, what would you say to her? I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope everything's okay. Um, and I hope you're doing something that you love doing. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah of take course. Care. Thank you so much for interviewing me. Yeah. So since so it's your senior year, if you could go back in time and talk to freshman John, what would you say to him? Um, I don't know. That it gets better. Yeah. Cross country, I always thought was hard, but it's always better with people. Awesome. And then if you could talk to future John, like 10 years from now, what would you say to him? Oh, God. Um, I hope you're employed. <laughs> employed. Yeah. All right. Perfect message. Thank you so much, John. Take care. Thank you. So if I were to say anything to freshman Caroline, I'd probably say to keep working hard, both in the classroom and in sports. Um, but also to just enjoy the little things as well, because high school does go by really fast. So make sure to slow down. Um, and then um, something that I would say to future Caroline is probably just um, keep learning, keep staying educated, um, as well as continue to live an active lifestyle, whether that be through running or through some other physical activity, um, just to make sure I'm taking care of myself. Um, and then I think the last thing would just be to make sure that I'm having an impact on people and helping people um, and just having an impact on the world around me. Um, that's what I would probably encourage um, future me to do. I could go back to freshman year and tell my, my, or tell Emily something. I would tell myself to stop worrying about the little things because in the end, it doesn't really matter and to just have fun. Like, don't worry and have fun. I would have told myself to invest in Bitcoin and I would have told myself to join cross country earlier. I've also told myself to cherish like every single moment, freshman, sophomore, and junior year, just cause I've missed a whole senior year. And I know I haven't really missed it, but it's just, 
I wish I've told myself to really appreciate like every little moment and just like walking down the halls and like seeing my friends at lunch. Like those were the little things I should have enjoyed just a little bit more. Okay, and if I could talk to myself in the future from 10 years, I actually, I've been thinking about this question a lot and I think I just tell myself I am proud of myself for everything that I've done and that you've better run a half marathon by now and it'd be cool if you were a doctor <laughs> so that i hope that i am truly happy where i am wherever i end up even if it's not a doctor or if i haven't like ran a marathon but what i'm doing with my life that i just hope and that i'm happy yeah thank you so much costa risa from northgate um do you have a special message for the class of 2021 well i just want to say congratulations for making it through this year i think that was uh, amazing um, extra, extra special kudos for being to able to endure all this and it's so awesome like right before your graduation we're starting to see a peak of normalcy so uh, congratulations right. thank you so much for joining us today no problem here is Oach Seabrook from Northgate thank you so much for joining us well we were just delighted we've been racing with College Park for years coaching nine years here and honestly it gets more fun every year the pandemic's been rough but this was a highlight this was our first meet in uniform and we couldn't think of a nicer team to uh, run against obviously the results you know our boys got a little crushed but that was probably a good wake-up call for them and our girls fought for every point so it was exciting to see and you're a very gracious host so i hope your seniors had a good experience too awesome thank you so much for take thank care you. go back in time and talk to freshman Belle and Lauren. Is there anything you'd like to say to each other? Or yourselves? Um, <laughs> I'd probably just tell myself to like never give up and like you're gonna get better with time so just like give it time and keep working hard. Yeah and the, like the tough workouts are like they're tough but you're gonna get through them and yeah. they're gonna be good for you in the long run. Awesome and then if you could talk to your future selves like 10 years from now what would you say? Thank you so much, take care. Thank, Thank you. you. We were able to talk to a freshman Trinity. Is there anything you'd like to say to him? Um, well, freshman Trinity, um, I think that I didn't have a lot of confidence and faith in myself, and um, I kind of like looked past my talent. So I would say to, um, you know, embrace my, uh, embrace myself and embrace my talents. Yeah, perfect. And then if you could talk to your future self, maybe like 10 years from now, is there anything you'd like to say? My future self, um, continue to work hard and pursue your passions. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for me. senior year here is there anything you'd like to say to freshman Seb if you go back in time uh, I'd probably tell him to quit soccer <laughs> and focus on what you think will be right for your future but for any freshman runners out there if you really want to do well on the sport you really have to start training now and take it seriously or at least run try to do runs every day or just tr do your best on workouts but not go too well out Awesome. You know, you don't want to uh, kill yourself, you know. You yeah. want to just stay with the training, stay with what the coach uh, assigns you. Perfect. And then, uh, if you could talk to future Sebastian, 10 years from now, what would you say to him? Uh, keep on, keep on the grind. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, listen to your coach and uh, take care of yourself. Awesome. Thanks. It's your senior year here. Um, yes, ma'am. Is there any message you'd like to say to freshman Sam? Um, just stick through it, you know. The days are going to be hard, the hills are going to be tough. But uh, the more you do it, the less pain will be. So um, just keep at it. Great. And then is there anything you'd like to say yeah. to senior Sam 10 years from now? <laughs> senior Sam 10 years from now. Or future um, Sam. Yeah. 
I'd say, uh, be better. <laughs> if I could talk to myself from freshman year, I would uh, tell myself to continue to work hard. Work harder than you did, because uh, you didn't work hard enough. And um, if I could talk to myself 10 years from now, I'd probably tell myself the same thing. Just stay on your grind, man. If I could talk to my past self, I would say to just enjoy high school. Um, you know, the four years, you know, they don't seem to go by pretty fast when you're a freshman, but I'm a senior now, and these past three years have gone by just like that. So, you know, enjoy the meets, enjoy, um, you know, every practice, enjoy the long runs, because, you know, um, once you graduate, you're really going to miss it. Um, and to my future self, I want to say, um, you know, just does you deserve it, you know, um, also just enjoy, but also keep working hard, keep being determined, you know, work toward your goals. And, you know, at the end of the day, I think um, everything is going to work out. So, um, yeah, just stay passionate, stay determined, and you got this. We're here with Coach Lee Hardy, assistant coach at College Park for the cross country team. Thank you for being interviewed. Yeah. Um, it's been a fun season helping coach and being here three days a week with you guys. Um, I know it's been a hard season, but it's been really nice to see you guys persevere and show up and be dedicated. And it's really good for the new runners to see that you guys are sticking through it, um, especially in a not so fun year. But hopefully the end of the year in track will be a lot more fun for you guys and your first year in college. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we're here with Coach Nolan, the new strength and conditioning coach for the cross country team at College Park. Do you have a special message you'd like to say for the class of 2021 seniors? Yeah, I'd like to say that uh, I really appreciate your guys hanging in and persevering through this time. It's it's crazy, you know, uh, COVID's prevented us from doing a lot of different things and prevented us from having a normal season. But, you know, people who continue to put the work in and continue to show up day in and day out, I really appreciate that from you guys. And it shows that you guys are really dedicated to your craft and dedicated to being the best you know student athletes you can be and that to me is all i could ask for in this time of uncertainty so so i want to say uh congratulations for having a a solid end of the year a solid uh track season and continuing to get better despite the lack of opportunity all right thank you so much for showing. thank Take you care.